So basically, how I paint this thing is pretty simple. Um, when you get something this old, you know, it's got all sorts of just paint and rust and even multiple layers of paint on it and pits and just nastiness and oil and all sorts of stuff. And basically, uh, what you want to do is get it down to bare metal. You don't have to do this, but it makes the paint stick a whole lot better. Um, and how I basically take it down to as close to a bare metal as I can get is by wire wheeling it with a wire wheel on a drill or by using one of these abrasive wheels on the drill. This pretty much takes off paint and rust and really anything. It gets it down to a bare metal. Um, the rims, I sandblasted those. Uh, my grandpa has a sandblaster and I sandblasted them. And that is probably the better uh, way to do it because it takes off everything, paint, rust, everything, and it gets even the littlest tiny specks of rust off pretty much if you take your time. Um, this is already down to bare metal. This is the belt guard. And uh, this is a brand new piece of metal because we had to make one because the old one right there didn't fit because of the different engine. So basically I have to have a belt guard because, you know, I don't want my pants or my legs or my hands, my fingers getting stuck into the belt and possibly losing a limb. So um, we made one and it turned out pretty good. Um, I just scuffed it up with a piece of sandpaper right now because this is already down to bare metal. But I uh, scuffed it up and then I'm going to prime it with some self-etching primer. This pretty much etches itself to the metal. Um, so it's a pretty good adhesion for using paint. You pretty much prime it and then wait for that to dry completely and then you paint it and it turns out pretty good. So I'm going to go prime this now and I will be back with you when I'm... So I just got done priming it with self-etching primer. I did this on both sides and now it's time to move on to painting it. Uh, I'm using International Harvester Red to paint it with because, I don't know, I like that red and it matches close to the, the original Wheel Horse Red. And uh, if you wanted to make this really smooth and nice and pretty and everything, then you'd probably wet sand it. Uh, this, you'd probably use a finer grit sandpaper. So this is some 600 grit uh, wet and dry uh, sandpaper so you could, you know, just you could sand it as is, or you can actually dip this in water and wet sand it, which is what they do to cars and trucks and pretty much anything that's really big and needs to be shiny and glossy. Uh, they wet sand it and then you paint it and your paint turns out really, really smooth and nice. Uh, I'm not really looking for a show tractor here, you know, so I'm basically just going to paint it and that'll be that. So I'll be right back after I get done painting this thing. So I just got done painting this thing and it turned out pretty good actually. Um, so now I guess I just got to bolt it up and we'll see what. So I just got to put back on and it turned out pretty good. Um, to be honest, it kind of makes the rest of the tractor kind of look like crap but I'll have to get out and get it covered in dust and dirt so it matches the rest of it but other than that I'm pretty happy with it